Well, now we can go over a quick example of how we might go about setting up an alert within performance monitoring. These alerts are set up around things like page loads and service latency requests. Metric alerts for transactions are meant to help you catch problems such as slow code and problematic database queries. Let's say now we're not wanting to be alerted on a particular pattern of errors like before, but now we want to make sure we alert on problematic trends in our transactions. As mentioned earlier, a transaction is an instance of a service being called to support an operation, such as a page load in a front-end context and an API call in the back-end. So let's say I want to be able to identify any long page loads across my user base. I will click on transactions as my data source, and I will filter my transactions to any that have a browser as a tag. You can notice now, once we clicked on the metric option, some interesting function choices become available for us to choose from. These are functions such as latency, app dex, transaction count, and failure rate. Now, if you're not super familiar with these functions, that's okay, because we provide out-of-the-box settings for each one. So for now, let's choose the latency function in order to be able to aggregate our transactions based on our 95th percentile of latency within our project. And let's say I want to evaluate this over a five minute time window. Unlike before, I will want to make sure this alert only is applied to events coming from a production environment. Like before, I can set my relevant thresholds, specify my relevant actions based off those thresholds, and assign a rule name, finishing everything off by saving this alert rule. So in summarizing, metric alerts, whether for performance or errors, are best used to monitor a finite and known set of metrics and components you care about. Examples are things like error frequency in your entire project, errors on important pages, or errors for specific tags. Metric alerts are usually higher signal than issue alerts because you know upfront what you're monitoring. Well, issue alerts power a triage workflow allowing you to cast a wider net for potential problems and re reviewing them as they happen.